Hi guys, today we are starting our new chapter, means new series, Dam Design in Civil 3D. Here we will use the Google Earth and QGIS and other websites and we will very well design the a dam project. So how do we do? I will explain to everything and this three four software you will use for creating the designs. So this area I choose on the Google Earth here is this area. We will create the dam here. The reservoir will be in this side and the outlet will be this side. So first uh, we have to take a data from the Google Earth, then we will go in the QGIS also, but in this chapter only we will create the data from the Google Earth. So let's go start, first go to in here tools in Google Earth, come to in options or select your option here universal travels meta over here and meter and kilometers these two things should be selected here other no need to leave it and apply then ok next uh, come to here in the view and come to down here the reset reset tilt and compass click on it here see it's already rotated and exact location now and then you have to come here and select the add path here okay here then this pop-up will appear you leave it in this site here now okay and start where you want to data so first i want to make a boundary from here and here and here you see the area filling area is in this side and come to here then this filling area up to here maximum filling just bring to here and select select here so in this part we will take the points so how do we take just click once here and the right side click pushing the button continuous not release and just turn like that like that yes and like see like like here and go to this place now same we have to take the more data as can just we can do like like this here here we have to take the more data so we will get the exact reservoir volumes because we want the surface level from this area so see and complete this side here 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 we have to take the more data I think this data is enough for accuracy. If you want to take more this data, if you take them then more than I think 10,000 data is now. Okay. You get the exact quantities in this area, reservoir area, the surface data from the Google Earth 
then we will check it on the QGIS and we will assign the elevations on the QGIS and another website GPS visualizer okay so I think this data is mostly complete here okay let's go now we want to make somehow boom then you take more data okay. so i think it's enough this data now you come to here in this website and give to here title i'm giving to here dm dm object okay Dem project okay. and we check here color if you want to change color you change I don't want you know nothing altitude here not to ground see it's okay and main thing is here measurement with the miles to change that in meters this means should be changing there okay. then say to click okay see now our dem project okay, file is here just click once here then right click and go to here down save places click on it here and we have to create the a project there I want I go to my D drive here and I will check my YouTube then here I have to make it a new folder and give to name then project same okay, here and just click on and this dem project save as the KMZ or KML. I like the save the KML. KML then just save it. Now data already take from here. We have to assign the elevations this data. So now just we click on here and close it Google Earth. Then we go to here in the website open the google and gps visualizer you see the gps visualizer website open it here then you see the convert to plain text just click once here then this website here open and here choose your file i'm going to choose our file from here where we saved our kml file just go here and you go here dem project then click once here and open this file already added here now not save the convert then you come to down here nothing change here just click once here and here change the add dm elevations then you say here like that and say to any format you can choose here you see or leave it the best available source okay then come down here nothing you have to change here 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 nothing change nothing change here nothing change nothing change here come calculate elevation chain here you should be make the yes then say okay here it's asking you can write every five meters okay five then move over then come to down here another most important output UTM coordinate then see yes now we selected nothing you change the more here absolutely it's the available source it's no problem otherwise you can choose here if you want the <coughs> USGC need the 30 meters or the more NASA STR 90 meters okay or 30 meters worldwide 
you can choose here for best available is that okay so i think best available is okay no problem then you just click here convert okay. see just click it here see already converted in utm also see the elevation assignments okay and even decimal you can select all in okay otherwise download from here so better just click here here okay then you give to name save name project it will save the name download and click save it here this name project okay then you can close Okay. Next step, you open a blinded Excel sheet. Excel sheet. Excel. Okay. It's opening. Then save blank workbook and come here in the file and say open. Then go to where we save the our file. Just main this this here you to ah uh, sorry download we saved in download this the download here and uh, where is this the uh, bim project here see all excel files no save the all files select here then you get the bim project in text file then say open then here you see the fixed width and go to next and not go to back then delimit here here then go to next okay see already the separated data and here in the tape okay because text data in the tape <coughs> format then set to next and say to finish then our file has open here this is you can see latitude longitude and utm zones and the utm is in north in latitude we will need here the only three things other we can just select and say to delete okay. and here also select and up to this we have to say the delete now you can see the altitude north in and east in this He thinks we need to design in CD3D for creating the surface. Just click here and insert one more tape. Okay, and this say uh, heading we don't want. Just we have to delete. We know this is the east thing and this is the north thing. And now here put the number one and two. Then select it here and select okay. Or now see the data all has. Numbering label here. How many data? Six thousand five hundred thirty-two data here. And we have this thing, not thing. Everything is dead. These three things not. Now we can save this file to the Civil 3D as a CSV file. Comma delimit. Just oh sorry. Here click here. then go to here save as and we have to save our in the same places and the uh, i made our file folder okay here just click and my to and here this is the dem project okay and here we go to down and click the comma csv comma delimited okay just click and this dem project this file will be saved here okay then say to save already saved now this data you can see i will show you now go to here and you to dem project you see the csv select this data this data we will use for that dem project at creating the surface here in the Next chapter, this data we will import in the CD3D, and we assign the 
contour labels and we defined the our user defined uh, contours for reservoirs calculations so thanks for watching